Hey guys, welcome back to Digital 6 Cover. Today we're going to show you how to maintain and clean the Browning Buckmark 22 Long Rifle Mag. Because this is kind of a tricky mag. People will look at this thing and think that it's not serviceable due to the fact that this is pinned to the base plate down here. And over time you get a lot of dirt in there, grime, rust, whatever the case is. And we want to figure out how to get this all apart so we can get to maintaining it keeping it clean and happy so what we'll need is we'll need a punch we will need some type of something to capture so I'm going to utilize this roll of tape here what you'll notice is you will see on one side of the mag the left side you will see this uh, protruding area where you can kind of pull it down and release tension on the springs and, and load the ammo that way instead of sitting there trying to fight it. But what you'll also notice is down here it widens up a little bit compared to the normal length right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull this spring all the way down to the end, flip it over, and you will see there is a, the other side of it right there. So once we get it down here, there'll be a slot wide enough where it'll pop out. And the reasons why it's way down at the bottom is it's past where 10 rounds would normally go. So you don't have to worry about it falling out. But let's do this real quick and I'll show you. So I'm going to use this tape here just so I can put pressure all the way down at the end. You'll see that it's centered right there. I'm going to push this out. and ride the slide all the way back so that it doesn't shoot out. Now, we have a couple of pieces here. We have the follower. It's a little dirty, not too bad. And we have the spring, which if you're having issues with it, maybe, uh, <clears throat> you know, it's not cycling like it should. Maybe the spring is worn out or maybe you can tweak with it a little bit to get it going. But now we can go in there, we can run a nice, uh, you know, I like to use Hoppy's Bore Cleaner, Hoppy's 9 there, and scrub out any dirt and grime that may be in there. Maybe throw a little rim oil in there, and then we'll put it back together. For this video, I will i won't bore you with how to clean it, but you'll basically put this in back in here, like that. This is going to be the side that we followed it up on. So the pin is actually going to be over here. So something you can utilize is, I like to use a screwdriver. This isn't one of the tools I originally said you needed, but it makes life a little easier. So a long screwdriver. We're going to get that all the way in here. But before we do, I'm going to show you what you're trying to battle with. So you will see that that little the metal of the magazine basically goes in that notch there so that will be where we want to get the mag to be in that little notch where my fingernail is so it's pretty simple we're going to get it back to center Let's see if i can do this with you guys uh, trying to hold the camera and all that stuff we're not bumping the camera around but we're going to find center and we're just going to push this back in and voila simple enough so now after we would have cleaned it you would have a nice clean magazine you can see that there is some rust building up here that i cleaned off a little bit and that's just uh bad storage on my end those are uh, some things that we can hopefully not have to deal with if we store our firearms in a dry uh dry area that'll definitely help fight off the rust so very simple. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you have a Ruger 1022 uh, Marlin, I'll be doing a lot of videos on how to clean and maintain your 22 long rifle because I believe most people start off with a 22 long rifle and if they uh, don't continue on, you know, buying firearms, they probably have one of these all rusty somewhere sitting around that needs some some love. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. Give it a thumbs up why not i appreciate it you guys stay tuned see you on the next one bye